We are live. Welcome. We have about two minutes until we start. I figure I may as well just start this now so I can find myself. Oh, here we are. I find myself so I can see all your comments. If you're here a few minutes early, hi, welcome. Let me know who you are. Leave me a comment of who you are, where you're from, and just a standard greeting, and I'll say hello. Oh, awesome. Greetings. Hi. All right, one minute to go. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. Where's the chat? I'm looking for the chat. If you guys can hear me, let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you can hear me, see me, and if my internet is strong enough that it's not breaking apart. Hi, welcome, Melanie from North Carolina. Linda says hello from the, but it didn't go through. I can hear and see you. Awesome. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. That is great. We are going to get started in just a minute. Go ahead and just let me know. Oh, broke and over it. I can hear you. Thank you guys so much. All right, welcome. How were your guys Sunday afternoons? What did I interrupt you guys from doing? Welcome. I'm leaving you guys comments on the iPad because there's a few people that said they're going to be like one or two minutes and I want to jump into everything I have at once. Lincoln, UK. Lord, oh, hi. Awesome. Linda, you're working on a Sunday? Being lazy. I just turned on my air conditioning because it was not hot. And I, so I had it turned off and then it got super hot. And I was just like, I don't want to handle this. Anyway, welcome, you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. We're going to jump into this real quick. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on some of my videos asking how people are making money online. And some of them say, well, I don't have a bunch of followers. I don't get millions of views every month. I can't rely on things like Google AdSense. And I don't like relying on the inconsistency of things like affiliate programs. So I came up with a list of three ways that I have made money that I honestly did not expect to happen. They kind of just fell in my lap. And I said, okay, if I can make money from this, anyone can make money from this. So I'm going to go through these three steps that I do and then leave me any comments, questions in the in the comments section. Leave me any messages or questions in the comment section. Hi, and I will get to them after the three. So I'm going to turn off comments on my iPad for just a few minutes, discuss those three, and then I'll jump back onto comments. You guys can ask me anything you want about this YouTube stuff. All right, let me pull them up. So these are three unique ways that I have found to make consistent passive income on YouTube that does not include the AdSense or how much money you get from people just watching your videos or from affiliate links for people clicking on products you recommend and buying them. Those are not included. I wrote these completely out, so if you have any questions, once again, leave them in the comment section. And If you are just joining, go ahead and leave me a comment as to where you're from. All right. The first thing I kind of unexpectedly found when I started YouTube, people have been asking me to kind of rent my description space. If you don't know what description space is, it's the description box below each video. You can see one down below mine right now. It has my mailing address that you guys send me stuff at all the time. Thank you for that. Um, my social media platforms, how to find me. Some of my videos that get higher amounts of views, I get messages that say, hey, Kristen, I, for example, run this small business and I would like to put my link to, you know, my website or my business in your description box. And it always has to kind of match the theme. I wouldn't put a, you know, random video that has nothing to do with the topic or content of that video. But more often than not, the business owner has thought about it. For example, my video called How I Save $20,000 in a Year. Last month in June, I had a woman pay me. She rented my description box at the top of the box before anything else. I had a link to her website, how it affected or was relatable to the video. And because she linked me, I could see how many clicks she got. She got over 100 clicks from my video description box. She actually probably did really well depend, um, in compared to what she paid per month. I did not honestly know about this, and so I didn't look up how much people should charge 
for the description space, but I wrote out a little contract just like rent. She paid me via Chase PayPal. She gave me exactly what she wanted to be said in the description box with her link. We both okayed it via email. And then <clears throat> once everything was signed, I linked it in my description box. So essentially, she paid me to copy and paste her business in my description box. That's one way I was unexpectedly getting income from my YouTube channel. If that's happened to you, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments when I get back. The second thing I did is called one-on-one -on -one consulting. Again, this wasn't planned. As my channel slowly started to grow, I got some comments and some questions via email, people asking, how do you do this? Could you teach me how to do this? And then right away there was a demand and I could supply the demand. So I charged like little half hour consulting one-on-one -on -one via Google Hangouts or Skype. Everyone would pay like on Chase Quick Pay or PayPal. And it was just a little half an hour. We assessed their website. A lot of it was just YouTube, some was Instagram, a little bit of Facebook, but mainly YouTube. They basically paid me a half hour of my time to sit down, look at their channel, discuss with them their goals, where they wanted to go, and then more often than not, they said, that's really useful, when can we schedule the next one? So I got my little planner out and we plan like every other, for example, Tuesday at 7 o'clock from 7 to 7.30, I jump on this computer, they jump on theirs, and I would share my screen with them so I could explain, here's what I think you should do, here's like three steps that'll increase either your retention in your videos or the display on your channel or your photos and your call to actions. Just small things like that. They were so engaged and really it taught me more because I'm gonna start doing some public speaking at different like technology or business events and I need to know what topics are most requested and what people want to know. And this consulting has kind of just been like a one-on-one -on -one, sit down, tell me what you need and then I'll notice a pattern like everybody wants to do XYZ with their channel. So when I talk at, you know, Technology World 101 in Dayton, Ohio, I'll know that these are things I really need to hit. So first one was um, people paying me to put their links in my description box, and my second one is one-on-one -on -one consulting. And the third thing, I've only done this about two or three times, but it has been channel interviews. Other content creators will say, hey, I really want to, you know, interview you on my channel. You've grown so much in the last, what, seven or eight months. So we'll set up a time that we will, like, pre-record an interview, and it's all discussed ahead of time, what we're going to talk about, just how we're going to conduct the interview, the topics we're going to cover, and then they will, you know, we'll figure out the fine lines of how they're going to pay, how it's going to work out. Just, you know, have a contract for everything. If I could give you any piece of advice when it comes to making money online, get everything in writing, especially a payment plan. Don't think, oh, I did an interview. They'll, they'll pay me when it's done. Have it in writing. You know, consumer A is going to pay Kristen on this date, which is always before the interview. Then we'll conduct the interview, and then that interview footage is theirs. They can do whatever they want with it. So to recap, the top three ways, and I'll get to your questions. If you have any questions, leave them below. The top three ways I have unexpectedly made money on YouTube is renting out my description box, people putting their links in my description boxes, one-on-one -on -one consulting with content creators, and then doing interviews on people's different channels. Sorry, you can see my ring light, so I wanted to get rid of that. But again, those are three ways not expected. If someone had said, hey, this channel is going to call you to talk about how you get your retention rate so high or how you do your SEO or how you plan your videos, so on and so forth. Anyway, whew. And again, I did want to say this video is not for me to brag to you guys, oh, I make this much money on YouTube. It's not like that. It's just to kind of open up your eyes to other ways. People think, oh, you can only make money. People are clicking on your videos and watching the whole thing and liking and commenting and sharing. That's not the case at all. What I've tried to do is I've tried to make my AdSense and my affiliates be like the things I worry about the least because those are the most inconsistent things. Hi, welcome from the Caribbean. I'm about to jump over to the comments. Did I get any when I went over all of that stuff? Hold on, my iPad is rendering because it's slow. Oh, Jennifer B. Hello, I love your videos and your personality. Keep it going. I'll do what I can. Thank you guys. If you made it through this whole thing or you like this kind of content, give this video a thumbs up and let me know that this is something that you guys would like to see more of. 
how do you find people to rent your description box? Um, the first one came to me, a woman does some sort of like online accounting and she came to me and just said, hey, I really like this video and I noticed that it gets a lot of views throughout the day, but I've actually reached out to someone else. I did a video on like how to plan your day and I reached out to a woman I knew made her own planners, agenda books, and stationery. And I said, hey, just wanted to let you know, I have this video. And I was able to show her in my SEO, my analytics, how many views that video could get a day. And I said, I just wanted to throw it out there. If you wanted a little bit of, a little bit of like marketing, I don't want a single penny of the sales that come from this, but if you want to just pay me to put your link in here, it'll be seen by this many people. I've noticed I will close the sale at least eight times out of 10, if I tell them I don't want a single penny of what people buy from the clicks in the description box. They are only paying me to put the link in the description box itself. That is it, nothing else. If they think that they're paying for that space and have to give me an affiliate commission, they're more likely going to say no. I've actually never asked for that, but I have noticed a lot of people that have worked with me in this capacity always ask, am I just paying for your space or do I need to give you a commission? And I always just say, you're paying for the space. Did that answer your question? I hope so. Also, I would recommend if you try to do this, always have a PayPal account or use like Chase Quick Pay, something really quick and easy. Don't do checks through the mail. Don't have the, oh, I'll pay you when it's over. Have it be very business oriented. Here are the dates, here's it in writing. We're both gonna sign this and we will both agree that this is how it will work. Oh, you're welcome. I am so glad that answered your question. Do we have any other questions? I promised myself I'd stay on here for no longer than 15 minutes because the last time we had a live stream a few days ago and we talked about the Google and YouTube algorithm, it ended up being like, 50 minutes. It was so long. I actually just filmed a like Cliff Notes version of that 50 minute video that talked about the algorithm changes and how to get views on your channel. But today I figured I would change it up and just talk about how to get money on YouTube without a million views, without a billion subscribers, all that jazz. Any other questions on here? Let me look while I wait. Let me know again, I know someone just told me that was helpful. Let me know if that is helpful to you guys in the comments. And let's see here. Thank you, by the way, to those who did let me know if you had clicked the bell. Down below, if you're subscribed, you'll see a little bell. To those that said they clicked the bell and did see my uploads come up right away, thank you for that. I did have two or three people that did not click the bell tell me they did not even see some of my videos come in the subscription box until like 5 p.m. and I uploaded at 7 a.m. So. I thought that was a little bit weird. Uh, this week I have videos coming out on Tuesday the 18th, Friday the 21st, and Saturday the 22nd. If you see those come into your subscription boxes early in the day, let me know. And if you don't see them at all, also let me know. Oh, I'm waiting for my air conditioning to kick in. I always turn it off when I'm out of my house and I come back and it's just hot. All right, I think those are all our questions. I don't have anything else on here, but thank you guys so much. If you have any other questions after this live stream has aired, go ahead and put them down in the description box. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscription button down below. My next video that's kind of tech savvy is going to be called How to Help a YouTuber. It'll be coming out in just a few weeks time. Uh, one thing that I would ask, and I think any content creator should be asking, is to share our video content with those people that you think would benefit. Don't just show my content because oh, I want a million subscribers and I want to be YouTube famous. Show people's content to those that you think would benefit from it. Somebody told me they got my How to Stop Living Paycheck to Paycheck video because their friend posted on Facebook. Someone posted my video on Facebook and said like, this girl's tips really helped me and this girl named Kate saw it followed it, took notes, and she said that she's hopefully going to be out of debt and have a good savings plan by the end of the year. Things like that are the reason that content creators should be making videos. But anyway, that is the end of my tangent. I will see you guys later this week. One last thank you. I ran that 5K yesterday. If you follow me on social media, you saw me pretty much almost die in the humidity and summer heat. But thank you to those who donated. Uh, money to the dash for donation. I'll hopefully do another 5k in the fall. 
Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you a little bit of an incentive to go out and try to find other ways to make passive income to build your online brand and business. I will catch you guys later. Video is coming out this Tuesday, this Friday, and this Saturday.